Now we will turn our attention to the case of renewable projects in the United States. Most U.S. businesses are not subject to the corporate income tax. Rather, their profits flow through to owners or members and are taxed under the individual income tax. Such entities, whose income flow through to their owners, are called pass-through businesses or pass-through entities. Pass-through entities include such enterprises as a sole proprietorship, partnerships, limited liability companies, and S-corporations. These businesses do not pay taxes. Rather, their owners or investors pay taxes. Let's now review the case of the partnership, so we understand better how the tax is paid in a partnership. Suppose that a partnership has been set up as SPV to build and manage a renewable energy project. A partnership should have at least a general partner and a limited partner. Suppose that the general partner owns 60% of the partnership, and a limited partner owns 40% of the partnership. Remember that the partnership does not pay income tax. All income passes through to partners, and taxes are paid by the partners. Note that the legal liabilities pass through to the general partner. Now, suppose that the partnership made an income of 100 from its renewable project. 60% of the income would go to the general partner, and 40% of the income would go to the limited partner. Assuming a tax rate of 25%, the general partner would pay 15 as income tax from the income received from the partnership, and the limited partner would pay 10 as income tax from the income received from the partnership. So, who is a limited partner? A limited partner is a passive investor who does not participate in the day-to-day -day operations of the partnership. Limited partner faces a limited liability and his losses are limited to the amount of the investment into the partnership. Who is a general partner then? A general partner in a partnership is a party, which manages the partnership on a day-to-day -day basis. A general partner faces unlimited liability. So if the partnership faces a big fine as a result of an environmental issue, this liability would pass through to the general partner, and the general partner would have to pay the fine. To deal with unlimited liability, partnerships usually structured with blocker corporations. Again, suppose that we have a partnership. We have a limited partner, which owns 40% of the partnership. Let's call him a financial investor. Then we have another limited partner that owns 59% of the partnership. And let's call him a strategic investor. And then we have a general partner that owns 1% of the partnership. A general partner is wholly owned by the blocker corporation, which is a C corporation. And then, this blocker corporation is 100% owned by the strategic investor. Since the strategic investor is an investor in the C corporation, the liabilities of the C corporation does not pass through to its investors. However, C corporation does pay income tax. This way, the strategic investor managed to rid of the unlimited liability from the partnership, which is now taken by the blocker corporation.